And my name is uh, Bella Leubel. I'm an assistant professor at the university in Frankfurt, and I'm working for the German Breast Group, also near Frankfurt. So we uh, have data on pregnancy-associated breast cancer, with, which is breast cancer which is diagnosed during pregnancy or up to one year after delivery, which is about two to three percent. So we expect one to two percent of all breast cancers are diagnosed during pregnancy, early or late. Um, uh, this is a registry, actually, a pan-European or better, it would be better with would be a worldwide registry for patients who have been diagnosed with breast cancer during pregnancy, independent of the gestational age and independent um, of uh, the pregnancy. So um, we found that actually the babies are not compromised if they got systemic therapy like chemotherapy during pregnancy. The weight was the same between the babies uh, whose mother got chemotherapy or, or not during, uh, the, during the pregnancy. And this so-called APGA score, which is a clinical score um, done at the 1, 5 and 10 minutes after delivery was also not different. And there were only minor um, effects on the babies. And there were some uh, like a bl blood, sugar um, blood sugar drop, but there were really no uh, detrimental effects on the babies despite being treated during pregnancy. Uh, I would advise them first to send them to a center with a multidisciplinary team where they have everything from a surgeon to a psycho-oncologist. Then I would advise them to treat them as closely as possible to the stand current standard guidelines. Otherwise, these women will lose out. If you wait until uh, the baby's, uh, the, the pregnancy is actually over, then it might be too late for a proper treatment. And if you deliver the baby too early, uh, there might be effects on the baby. Therefore, you have to make sure that the patient gets the right uh, surgery and gets the right uh, standard uh, chemotherapy. But this can only be done in a center where they treat at least one patient a year and know how to deal with those patients.